What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and the Office 365 Outlook Connector, and we're going to look at the action which is set up automatic replies v2. So this is kind of what it sounds like, it is the ability to set up automatic um, automatic replies on a mailbox. So this could be if you are calling in sick one day, you may want to set up an automatic reply, uh, but you don't want to have to log into your um, log into your device, you know, log into your laptop. It may take a few minutes to boot up and all that sort of stuff, and you just want to go back to bed. You can maybe just have a, like a manual trigger on a phone, press a button, sets up an automatic reply that you like preset, and then away you go. So let's take a look at this action today. So I'm going to trigger this from a manual trigger. So we have set up a manual trigger here, and then we're going to click on new step. We're going to expand this and go to Office 365 Outlook. And we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom until we get to Setup Automatic Replies V2. So we select this one, and then we get a bunch of different options. So I'll go through each one of these. So the status. So this is whether we want to disable the automatic replies, enable the automatic replies, as in always, or schedule the automatic replies. So I could say, okay, I want to always enable the automatic replies. That's great. Um, next, it says external audience. I think this should actually be moved down here next to external reply. What the external audience actually does is it gives you three options. It allows you to send emails, um, send the, uh, the automatic external reply to either none of the contacts, to your contacts only, so this is contacts you have in Office 365, or all the people replying to you. So I was a bit confused by this because it was up here. I kind of thought it was something else, but this is to do with the external reply message, whether you are going to send it or not. And if you are going to send it, who are you going to send it to? Either everyone, contacts only, or none, don't send it. And I also don't need to put anything in there, it'll just default to none. Um, so I think it'll default to none anyway. Um, so then we need a uh, start time date, start time zone, end time date, end time zone. So the start time date, this is if you're using a scheduled um, status. So I've selected always enable here. If I put a scheduled start time and a scheduled end time and, and the time zones, it's actually just going to ignore those parameters altogether and just always enable it. Um, I could put something in here, so I could say, right, okay, I want a UTC now as the, uh, as the start time. The start time zone, um, it gives me a time zone as an example is a Pacific Standard Time. I couldn't actually see a list of where I could get the, the time zones that I wanted, uh, but UTC works. It's probably just one of the same uh, international formats for time zones that we covered in like the, the format time zone videos and things like that, uh, but it just doesn't have a link to that when I, when I looked up uh, about this, so I thought it was interesting. Um, Scheduled end time, so I can again uh, say add days, uh, and then we'll do UTC now, and then we'll do five days, so like that. And then the end time zone. Again, I thought it was kind of interesting that they give you the ability to specify the start time zone and the end time zone. It's actually kind of useful for people that do travel internationally, that they could set up, okay, I'm going to be out of the office between uh, Monday, uh, you know, uh, at 9 a.m. in this time zone, but I'm scheduled to arrive in an office on sort of Tuesday at this, so disable my out of office when I hit that time zone. So I thought that was a really cool feature. Um, and then the next two are just the internal and the external reply. So I can say, hey, um, you know, hi, uh, I'm out of the office. Uh, office, please speak to Sharon. Um, Sharona. Um, uh, I'll say hi. Uh, I'm not available. I'm back next week. So these will be two different replies. So this will be the internal reply and this will be the external reply. So I'll show you the always enabled uh, for, to start with. Uh, but before we do this, we'll just flick over to my emails. This is my emails. This is my automatic replies. It's probably switched off so we can see what it looks like. We're we'll back to the flow. And we'll test this out. So we'll click test, I'll perform the trigger action, we'll save and test, and we'll hit run the flow. Flow runs successfully, that's great. This may take a second to update, you might, I might have to come out of here and go back into it. 
Uh, sometimes it pops up and says, hey, you're out, you're out of the office. Yeah, I know I am. There we go. So the replies are on. Now you'll notice that the replies are on, but this is not set to a time period. I do have the I'm out of the office for my internal reply, but I do not have an external reply because I didn't specify that I, that I wanted it to go externally. So I just got um, this, uh, I'm out of the office. Uh, actually, that's the, is that the old one? Excuse me. Let's just open that up again, refresh it. I'm out of the office, is that not? Oh, huh, that's weird. This is, uh, this is not refreshing with my new out of the office message that I thought, ah, oh, that is a very interesting policy. So we'll try that again. Uh, how about we set this to all contacts now? Uh, and we will test this again. We'll hit save and test. This might just be an issue because I've been testing this, enabling and disabling it um, a few times. That has now run. That's good. And we'll just go back and we'll view the settings again. Uh, I think this is just not refreshing properly. Let's just refresh the page, see if that works. Um, ah, there we go, out of office, there we go. So maybe you just needed a hard refresh and it was just caching my old one. Uh, but say the thing. So, um, so now that I've selected, we're going to send the external to all. We now have this other option of I'm not available, we're in next week. Uh, again, it's, it sets automatically on, but not set to schedule. So even though I have put in the scheduled start and ends, it's not going to enable that. So if I do change this to, um, uh, say, scheduled, uh, and if I change this back to non, maybe, uh, we should get that external reply not showing up in the, uh, in the out of office. So let's test that out. So we'll click our form trigger action. We'll save and test. Um, and then we'll run the flow, click done, run successfully. So yeah, it may just require a refresh or it may just require you to exit out that menu and come back into it again. Uh, again, we're getting the automatic things pop up there. Uh, yeah, there we go. So now this is ticked to say it's only I send it between this period. We have the days updated. So previously it just had uh, today's date and tomorrow's date. Now we actually have that time frame. And we only have that single um, that single message. So that is actually really important that that, that checkbox, um, this one here, the external audience, even if you populate something into the external reply message, it's not going to show that external reply message because we are not setting that option. Um, if we do set that to maybe contacts, for instance, we can, uh, we can set it up and then we can um, show that. So there's loads of different ways that you can configure this and it's really cool that they give you this option through Power Automate because you know automation is something that everyone should be able to do and forgetting to set your out of office is something that we all do all the time. Um, so yeah, now we do have this and it says send replies outside the organization. It also has ticked send replies only to contacts because that's the option that we chose. And we can also just disable this as well. Um, so we can set this to disabled and we'll, we'll test again. Again, it'll ignore all the other things and it'll just disable the out of office. Um, so that was one interesting thing that I found about this action. Some actions do warn you to say, oh, you can't. Uh, I think it was one of the previous actions um, about uh, uh, something that I can't remember what was that. It wasn't, it was only a few minutes ago. Um, where if you set something to say, no, you can't do this, then the actual reply has to be null. Um, but this option just lets you do anything. It's just going to assume that you know how to do it right. And if you do it wrong, it's not going to care. It's just not going to do the thing. And it's not going to warn you about it either. It's just trying to say, hey, you know, you set it to not to not be out of the office and see it's turned off. So you're not out of the office, but um, it's not going to disable or do anything else. So you can even see that these two things are ticked. Um, because that's uh, that was ticked here as well, contacts only. So, so yeah, it's going to it's going to allow you to set up those automatic uh, replies, uh, which I think is a really useful thing. As said, I tend to um, if I ever call in sick, and I then have to like log onto my phone or log onto my laptop, and then you know say hi, I'm not really in the office, or even if I'm just traveling somewhere and just you know what I forgot to turn on my out of office, uh, maybe my phone, uh, my work phone has died, or maybe I don't have great. 
um, you know, I, I don't have um, access to my mailbox or something on my uh, work phone, and I want to just hit a button and just hit penetrate automatically, automatically update and set my automatic replies. So that's that's a real good use case for something like this. But as always, I want to know what you guys use this for. Let me know in the comments down below. If you found this video useful, if you could share and like with a friend, um, or the other way around, if you could like and share it with a friend, <coughs> that would be great. If you've not already, hit the subscribe button, stay up to date with all my latest videos, and you can see me mess up like this on camera and keep going. Um, and I will see you next time.